Hello class, this is Miss Christina, and today I'm going to teach you how to color in decimals. Now, coloring decimals is very easy, and I saw lots of students struggling because they don't know how to color <coughs> in decimals and to meet their deadlines, so I decided to make a tutorial for you guys. Now, this is my lips, and today I'm going to color this lip. Um, the most important part when you're coloring is that you label all the equations. Now I am using L because um, I'm using L because mm, this is my lips, and you can use B for your body and L um, F for your face. Mm. Now. Labeling is very important because if you don't label, you will end up like this. Copy the whole equation, y, um, and then another equation. Now this is very hard to organize and like you can't recognize it um, when you take a glance. So in order to organize, you want to label the equations. Now. The next important part is that you want to color from left to right. <coughs> so what this means is that, let's look at the most left part of this loop. This equation is L9 and this equation is L7. So you want to say, uh, oh, actually you can leave it. Now L9, L7. And then the next left part is L7 and L L5. So L5, L7. Now we can notice a big problem here because this these two parts intersect. So you want to change the domain of the equation. Now there are two ways <coughs> you can change the the domain of the equation itself or the inequality. So if so. You want to trace the endpoint of this, which is minus 7, and then apply it to here, minus 7. Or you can do, um, you can find L9 and then change the domain to minus 7. Um, this, in this case, I want to recommend this. The next part is L L8 and L5. And then it's L6 and L5. And then it's L6 and L4. That's it. Now this also uh, has a dark part, so you want to change the equal uh, domain of the equation to. Oh, there's an intersection point which is minus 6.231 so you want to change this equation to minus 6.231 then next it's L1 and L4 L1 now let's leave this part for a bit and then <coughs> this part is L11 and L10 now, the, these two equations look kind of similar, right? Because it represents a circle in an in implicit form. Or is it an explicit form? I don't remember. So, the y equals fx form. Mm, it re uh, a circle results in two, an implicit or uh, y equals fx form. And if you don't know how to convert a circle into this form, uh, you must see my post in GLP classes 2019. Uh, you can't just leave a circle like this. You can't just draw this one. You can't do this when you are coloring. Unless you are doing like this. Anyways, this is L10 and this is L11. So L10 L11 and then L11 and L2 L2 and L11 then it's L3 
L3 and L2. Now the next part, oh wait, this equation also has a dot part, so you want to trace the endpoints, and then change this to L3. And then, the last part is L1 and L2, L2, L1. Now, um, all of the intersection of L1 and L2 is now colored, so you want to change the domain. But, if you change the domain of this equation, um, this trace will disappear. So it won't work. So you want to um, set the domain for the inequality. Now trace the endpoint, which is 5.267 minus 5.267 and is smaller than x. This also intersects, so change the domain to 5.267. And the last, last step is that you color in red. Now you can see that my original equation was I had 11 equations and now I have 21 equations. So this means that you will uh, actually fulfill 400 equations in a very easy way. This doesn't take a long time unless uh, and 